I need your help. So two, three years ago when I started this channel, this was it. This was the Rice from Miata. This was everything that I cared about. This is what really got me started into cars. This is what helped me learn on cars. This is what helped me like kind of learn how to build them and like just everything. This is what started my life. I have so many memories with this car and I'm so thankful that this car, like I've been able to share you my story and share this car with you guys. It all started back in the day when I had an E30 and I drove that around for a little and then I just put it on Craigslist just like to see if I can get any bites, see if I can get some money in my pocket to go buy a Miata because when I was younger, the only thing, the only car I wanted was a Miata. My mom wouldn't let me have one because she said they were death traps. She said they were dangerous and they weren't meant for a 16 year old kid. So I went behind her back. I posted my E30 on Craigslist and it turns out somebody in Boston, two and a half hours away from me, actually wanted to trade his Miata right here for my E30. So. I went through, I can tell you the whole story, I'm sure it's on YouTube, and I'm sure I've explained this before, I don't really remember, but long story short is, um, I drove the E30 there, it broke down, I had to go back, blah blah blah, it, this was like a three day occurrence, I got this Miata with Cam, turns out when I got it, it actually broke down in Boston, the serpentine belt snapped, and my mom had to get us in a blizzard, and me and Cam slept in a, um, state troopers office until seven in the morning. The stories, the nightmares, the awesome times I have with this car, I can literally sit here and probably talk to you for three hours of like every single story I've had. Like it's been stuck, it's been slammed on its nuts, it's been dragging down the road, it's hit jumps, it's been there, it's been over here, it's broken down in New Jersey. I've been to drift events when it was stock. I've been to drift events where it was turboed. It was turboed. It became not terrible, they blew up, boom, bang, boom, everything happened, and th this car is such a huge history on YouTube, such a huge, like, impact on my life, and just, like, made me look at, like, different things, and, like, made me look at stuff differently, and I hate to say this, but it's time to let it go. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments, I know a lot of people are gonna be upset about this, it's just, you have to think about it in my point of view, like, I have an LS1 E36, I'm building an LS2 E36, and don't worry, those videos are coming, it's just I'm, my mind is everywhere. We just built that Forester, I have the Skyline that I'm about to build, I have my Roadster, which is technically a Miata that I'm putting an SR20 into. There's just so much things going on in my ch on my channel and in my life that it's just, I'm just paying for this thing to sit in front of my shop for practically no reason. We really haven't done much videos with it in like the past year. And it just doesn't make any sense to my head and to keep spending money to have it here for no reason. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I want your guys' help. I don't know what to do with this car. There's many options. I can nitrous it and have it blow up on a track. I can like try to drift it with nitrous and have it blow up and then like get rid of it. I can sell it. I can give it away. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I don't really want to bring it to the junkyard because it just has so much history, so, like so much impact in my life that I kind of rather have, I rather sell it or rather give it away. So somebody can like somebody that's 16 years old or someone who, what, however old you are can start on a platform that has a lot of history. Like if you watch this channel, like maybe you would want this car. And to be honest right now, it's just not in good standing. Um, I just, I just have so much stuff going on in my life that I just don't want to hold on to it anymore. Good things have to come to an end sometimes. So this is what the car looks like right now, just to give you a little rundown of it. Like, it's just been sitting outside my shop really doing nothing and I just don't want to see it there anymore. Like, it physically hurts me to do that and like, yeah, I can fix it up, which I'm going to be doing in the next couple weeks just to like get it all nice looking and everything. It's, and, but like after that, after it looks nice, after the rotors are on, because those are the wheels we're gonna put on, after the hard tops on, after the seats are in and everything, it's just what do I do with it? Because I'm building the SR Roadster, like that is gonna be a Miata animal. And it's just like what what do I do with this? Like everyone wants me to keep it, but it just doesn't make any sense because it's literally just gonna be sitting here. Like me and Tommy might be getting a new shop, like there's no room to park outside. Like what am I gonna have to what am I gonna do with it? Just like have it like keep a spot in my bay. It's just it doesn't it's not logical to keep this and I really hope you guys can understand that like I'm trying to talk to you heart to heart 
And yeah, here it is. Give a little walk around. My first drift drift tap ever. And yeah, it's a Miata. It's pretty small. There's really not much to show. So with that all being said, I would love for you guys to go down in the comments, like give some feedback, give me an idea what you would like to come with this car, sell it, give away, junkyard, I don't know, nitrous, blow up, and then get rid of it, I don't know, that's why I'm making this video, I want you guys to help me choose to do with it, um, come the next week, I am going to be working on it, I'm going to make it look nice, presentable, and all of that, just so it doesn't look like a giant turd, because it physically hurts me to have it look like this, the I've owned this car for, I don't know, three years, and it's, it's been through so many phases. Diamond Racing Steelies, the Rotas, Slammed, Straight Pipe, just everything. It's been through so much, and if you want to unsub, go ahead, unsubscribe. If you want to subscribe, definitely click that subscribe button, but I'm just, I'm just trying to do bigger things with my channel. I'm trying to progress, and I just can't progress when I have 27 cars sitting outside my shop, and working on this one day, working on that, having this sit, having Will's Miata sit, it's just, it's a lot to take in and it's like a lot to deal with. So I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of cars right now and I'm trying to do a lot of moves and it's just very chaotic right now. So like I said, I hope you guys can understand and here's a little edit of the Ricer Miata. I don't know if you can hear me, this thing is fucking stupid loud, like, I can't even hear myself think. I promise you my heart's racing at least to like a thousand beats a second. I guess it's Oh my god, holy shit, oh, oh, hey, holy shit, no, 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 oh my god, oh, holy shit, no. So sadly to say, Miata, she's not making it very far this time. Um, I ran it all day. I had a blast, but it, the temp, I'm an idiot. It was at like 220, 230. I was like, fuck it. Let's run it one more time. And now it's like fuel cutting like really, really bad. I don't know if I like melted a piston or something, but we're gonna drive her home. Um, top speed on it right now is 40 miles per hour. Honestly, I think it's a fuel pump. I'm not that mad. The Miata has made it through hell and back. Honestly, this motor was straight bulletproof.
two days. Hi, what's going on guys? Chris Rudnick here, and yes, it's 100 degrees out, and yes, I'm wearing a beanie, and yes, I got buck teeth, so what are you going to say about it in the comments? Get at me, bro. <laughs> So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Like I said, go down in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do. And there will be another video like this shortly. Um, I just ordered an exhaust. I ordered, um, I'm getting seats. I'm going to put the front bumper on. I'm going to make sure the engine is nice and good sounding. And I'm going to make, I'm going to make sure this thing is nice. So like I said, put down in the comments what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.